So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so first of all you have to just click on start lab and if you are completely new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel. Now just open the workspace admin in incognito window let me show you how you have to open. Now for the username and password they have mentioned on the lab just copy it like this and paste and hit enter. Just hit enter and click on next. Now here just click on I understand. It will take some time so wait for it. Now again agree the terms and conditions scroll down. Just accept the terms of service. Now you will be redirected to the admins console page. Now here basically you have to just click on get setup and then click on the verify option. Now you have to just authenticate yourself, click on get started. Now this is the most important step. Please pay attention. You have to just click on this. My domains uses different host. Then click on continue. If you miss this then you won't be able to complete the lab. Now just click on this checkbox and click on confirm. Now it will take some time and your domain will be ready. Okay. Yes. You can close this page also. Now here just reload the browser and please follow the video carefully otherwise you may make mistake. Now from here what you need to do click on this navigation option and just go to the organizational unit. Click on create organizational unit. Come over here and from here you can see the names are here. So first thing you have to just copy the teachers. Copy the teachers carefully make sure there is no any extra space or dot. Once you have copied paste over here and just click on create. Now after that we have to create another organizational unit named students. So just copy it carefully. Here you can see. Just paste it and click on create. Now we have created two organizational unit. Now we have to create history under teachers organizational unit. And then we have to move it to students. So just copy the organizational unit. Now here in teacher section click on plus now just paste it and just click on create once you have created we have to move it to students okay how will move it let me show you how you have to move they have mentioned the history should be moved to the students they have mentioned in the lab instruction and just come over here click on this icon just select the students and click on continue and then just click on move now once you have done this you can see it's moved into students organizational unit now we are done with the task number one so just check the score if you are able to get the score you can just check it now one more important thing is that if you want to enable this check my progress bar you can check the description box of this video now the second task is little bit tricky so please follow it we have to add users okay we have to just add users just click on this wait a second all things are correct now here you can see this sheet file okay you have to download it from a telegram channel or alternatively i will add in my github repo also but if you are unable to find it you can just use the telegram channel i have uploaded it on my main channel the link is in the description you have to just download it because it will be required for this particular task here you can see we have to add users individually and how we'll add it i will show you what are the important things you need to take care while exporting the file also just come over here just go to the user sections and here you have to just click on add new user so just add a new user for the name you can write any name i am writing my name now once you are done with this click on add new user okay just click on add a new user and here basically you have to just copy the username you can use any online notepad or personal notepad also just open it any notepad you can use your personal also basically we are just copying the domain over here so from here just copy it completely okay so this will be required for the later part of this lab basically for this task only now just click on done and then click on done Finally here if you are unable to see your username what you need to do you need to reboot the browser window okay now here you can see our user is available now just click on it and then more option and then just change the organizational unit to which organization teachers we have to select teachers and click on continue and then just change it okay 
once we are then done with this you have to just refresh the browser window until you see it in teachers section okay here you can see we have to just add the users from the csv sheet do not worry all things will be covered just click on the teachers and if you are unable to find this you need to refresh the browser window until you see this data basically the user in the sheet sorry sheet not user section okay so once you see the user is available after refreshing the browser window the next step is that we have to just add the users using our csv file the file which we have downloaded from the telegram channel or github repo so here how you have to just update it let me show you before that we have to make some modifications on the sheet yes you heard it right we have copied the domain and user so how will you modify it first of all you have to just open the sheet so first of all just open your it this you have to open in any normal tab just type sheets dot new here you can see a new sheet has been opened now here you have to just import the sheet which will be using so click on this file option then click on import and now just upload the file which you have just now downloaded okay just click on upload basically browse Once you have uploaded, it will look like this. You have to just click on import data. Now the data has been successfully imported over here. Now in the email address section, we have to just update the domain from. Now come to the notepad we have section. Copied this now. Okay. And from here to here, just copy it carefully. Come to the first user. Just replace this with this. Similarly, replace this with this. Now once you are done with this, wait for the file to get saved. You have to just download the csv file from here to your local system so how will download you have to just click on the file section okay just click on the file option then click on download and select the comma separated value that is csv and download the file to your local system now once you have downloaded the file just come over here and click on bulk update users attach csv file and just update the file which you have just now downloaded okay and then click on upload now once you'll click on upload the data will be starting to process and load so if you face any issue you need to just refresh the browser once you see this green tick over here so just reload the browser to see the users and if you are unable to see the users again try after some time now here you can see all these users are available over here so we have done this particular task also now the last task is very easy we will able to complete it without any issue come over here okay just come over here and check the score and here you can see we have got the score now for the last task we have to just come back again to our admin console and here we will do some things which is very easy so just click on this go to show more and then from here just find the security you can see here security okay just click on it and overview now here come down over here and here you can see account recovery just click on it it will take some time now here user account recovery just click on allow users and then save it now once you have saved it we are done with this particular task now if you try to check the score instantly it may not update the score so you need to wait for some time and try again later and that's how we completed the lab. If you want to complete any skill badges, you can check the description box of this video for the master sheet. Thank you guys. Have a great day ahead. Just check the score. Refresh the browser if you are unable to see the score. And for this, check my progress bar. You can check the video description.